So you want to know about nouns, you want to know about verbs, and you probably know that there are several other types of words. So if you yearn to learn a recite to teach, now listen up and let me tell you about the parts of speech. A noun is a person or a place or a thing Like you or your school or all your bling bling But the tricky kind of nouns are ideas and thoughts Like your strength or intelligence Man, there are lots of these nouns To list them all, that would be impressive But to describe them, all we need are adjectives Like hot, cool, false, true, spicy, or bland And now I think you understand So you wanna know about nouns, you wanna know about verbs And you probably know that there are several other types of words So if you yearn to learn a recite to teach Now listen up and let me tell you about the parts of speech the, the verbs That's what we call the action words Anything you can do, even if it's absurd Whenever you eat, drink, move, think, go or stop Even if you just are, that's a verb that you got so Mr. Jack, yeah. how do I describe these words? Use another part of speech we call adverbs Proudly and well, don't ask me why, but most of them end in L-Y So you wanna know about nouns, you wanna know about verbs And you probably know that there are several other types of words So if you yearn to learn a recite to teach Now listen up and let me tell you about the parts of speech A preposition gives location, so you know whether an object is between, in, by, or below But it can also talk about time, as a matter of fact If something happens before this, or it's gonna happen after that They always got a prepositional phrase, it's a traditional way that every Every preposition operates, so just make sure that the object is there, or else you never know what goes where. So you wanna know about nouns, you wanna know about verbs, and you probably know that there are several other types of words. So if you yearn to learn a recite to teach, now listen up and let me tell you about the parts of speech. A conjunction joins phrases and words together, like and, but, or, as, if, and, when. Some appear in pairs, like neither or nor You know I'd love to list them all, but there are so many more So let's go on to pronouns, they replace nouns So you can say it instead of saying the same noun Again, it can be just a breeze, you see Instead the name saying he or she so you wanna know about Hold up! Almost forgot about the next one I'm speaking of course of the interjection Like Yo! Yikes! You know the parts of speech? Well, I think you and do now. And now you know about nouns, and you know about verbs, and you probably know that there are several other types.